we are at the entrance of the... Arches National Park. Arches National Park. Uh, we're going to like basically drive through this little hill or mountain in, in there so we get inside the park. Let's make a line. Behold the moon as it sets on the east side of the Arch National Park mountain. Surrounded by the light, projected by the sun on the red mountain. Beautiful views. rock over there. It's called the finger. <laughs> Mario's name in comparison. <laughs> yeah, it's not called the finger at all. I just made up the name. And Joanna says that rock is called the balancing rock. And balanced. It's balanced rock. And it's not a made up name. It's a legit name. This angle is much, much better. The sun hits it very well. And we got an arc that is technically and officially arc. Skyline arc. It's called the Skyline Arc. And we have seen it. We can unsee it. Good morning. At the Devil's Garden Trail Loop. It is, it's quite windy at the Devil's Garden Trail Loop. It's beautiful. Yep, yep, here's Joanna walking right underneath this rock, which I'm gonna name the face with the eyes and the nose. We're approaching Landscape Arch. There seems to be some other small arch over there. No, we haven't. But it's really beautiful. Look at the moon, look at the moon. Beautiful. Wow, look at this beautiful rock here. It's like a wall, solid wall for climbing. No, for climbing? climbing? <laughs> We're getting inching closer and closer to the, what was the name of the arc? Landscape. Landscape arc. We're going over this sandy, this sandy terrain. Extremely difficult to make progress. <laughs> <laughs> Made it to the top. Did we make it to the top? There is more trail. We're still surrounded by mountains. We made it all the way from there. It's a nice hike. It's, we are almost there. A double O arch. You see? One O, two O's. Okay, so Mario here is gonna attend some rock climbing. Go ahead, yeah? <laughs> Where are we, baby? We are in Utah. We are in Navajo Park. Uh-huh, that's better. <laughs> Good job. We 
are at Sand Dune Arch. We haven't quite gotten to the arch, but we're on the trail. So magnificent fiery red. Very easy to get here. The fiery furnace. Very nice, but it's very crowded. Yeah, this is the fiery furnace. We got it quite empty, no one around, just us, and we could experience that uh, eerie silent void of the area. Well, there is an airplane going an airplane on, now. but it's it's nice. All of the other places have been really great, but like full of loud people. <laughs> well, don't tell me wrong, we love people. We are now on the other side of the balancing rock. Yeah. You cannot see the balance rock from here. Yeah, you can. It's in the middle. You can. Yeah, oh, all the way in the back. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh cool. We got it. But this is the, uh, the Garden of Eden viewpoint or something like that. There's some beautiful rocks over here as well. It's just wow and wow and some more wow. <laughs> here. Lots of wows. Wow. Yeah, lots of scenery. Here's our car. She'll take us. She'll be our ride to the hotel. Yes. <laughs> Doodles. So these are the windows section. This is Double Arch? What's the name? Yeah, Double Arch. It's quite a sight to see. some early petroglyphs so let's see if Mario found some more did you find any more baby? Donde? I'm 
Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Or you see like... Like black. Yeah. Yeah, you can see some of it. Are all along this road. You want to cross the street? They're attempting to do that. Good for them. And then the Moab area also has some dinosaur related attractions. Very close to town. You can come and do a, a hike where they have. Well, I mean, it's not a hike, it's just like a quick walk from the parking lot. Quick climb. Quick climb, it where they cheap, have some, off. yeah, fairly steep drop off. They have some dinosaur tracks preserved. What were the, the type of dinosaurs? This was the Eubrontis. Eubrontis. Yes. Which was a very common dinosaur during the early Jurassic rocks in the Navajo sandstone. Mm -hmm. And then you also get a very nice view here of the river and more sandstone and just there are beautiful views everywhere. And very loud 4 by 4s Very loud. Are you gonna actually, do a correction? Actually the dinosaur was not called a bronze. It's called a Eubrontis, and there are about six different dinosaurs they think could have made the print to the underground. Hmm. So they're not sure? Yeah. But there's some prints here.